Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox tutorial, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys my favorite plugins, I'm going to be explaining why I use them, I'm going to be explaining probably the best plugins in my opinion, okay, um, obviously it's a bit subjective, but I think they are pretty good, so I'm going, to explain you, I'm going to be explaining which ones I use and stuff like that. And also, as you can see right here, I actually have this text that says, best Roblox studio plugins, and that's actually going to be our first plugin, okay, so let me show you how, real quick how that works, alright, so if I go ahead and hit activate cursor, I can uh, put you know some text somewhere, right? And then I can just go ahead and click right here. And then I go to my plugin right here. I can type whatever I want. Um, let's say I want to say, uh, welcome to a new video. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like button. <laughs> okay, and there we go. Now I have text and I can scale it up. I can change it again if I want to. Well, actually, I can't change it now because I already like kind of got out of it. But if I want to make new text, all I have to do is put it there. I can change the font, you know what I'm saying? I can do a lot of stuff with it. So let's see. You have that font. We have that font. You get the point. Thickness, you can change that. Scale, that's just the scale. You can change the word to line to, the color of it, um, if it's a mesh or if it's just a mesh part. Material of it, sand material. It actually looks kind of cool for some reason. Anyways, you get the point. That's how it works. Um, pretty simple plugin. Very cool, though. Also, guys, all these plugins will be linked in the description below. So if you want any of these plugins, go down there, and you'll be able to get them there. But yeah, make sure to leave a like if this helps you out. I think these are very cool plugins. And I kind of just want to share some more stuff that I do with you guys, um, you know. Anyways, all right. So let's start with the next plugin, okay? So the next plugin that I use is these Load Catalog Items plugin, okay? <laughs> and um, basically what this plugin does is it just loads any catalog item. So let me go to the catalog real quick, and I'll show you guys actually um there you go and also okay i know i'm broke i have only 780k robux don't bully me i devxed okay all right don't call me broke please thank you okay anyways our avatar shop right here and then you just pre pretty much get any single uh accessory you want and there you go let's so let's just get the first one because uh why not oh no we can't do that one all right there we go bare face mask copy that paste it right here and boom now we have the bare face mask that all the odors wear Perfect. Um, exactly what we wanted. Okay, so um, that's a pretty cool plugin too. Uh, anyways, next plugin is Asset Creator. Actually, I'm not gonna show you guys how to use this one. Well, actually, I guess I could. I think it's. I don't know if it's public or not, to be honest with you. But it's just a plugin that uh, helps you make some items. Uh, you know that you want to save to Roblox or whatever, like UGC items. So uh, yeah. But if you you know if you want that, I'm pretty sure you can still use it. It just makes accessories and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool actually. Um, but I'm not gonna go into that one right now, um, just because I don't want to. I don't want to do, I don't know if I can show that one, but anyways, all right, so here's uh, building tools by F3X. I'm sure a lot of you guys actually use this plugin. It's just for building, and I'm going to be honest, guys, I don't build anything, like literally anything. Like right now, I'm in the road tank game right now with my friend, and um, basically like this is like the road tank. It's like a live show that we have pretty much every Saturday at like 2 p.m. Eastern, and it's live on this channel, but basically we just do like little live events, and uh, you know, investors come here, or we're investors, right? Me and a couple other of my friends who want to invest, and then people come over, and they present their ideas, and if we like it, then we'll invest into it. It's kind of like a shark tank, but for Roblox games, but pretty cool, yeah. Anyways, that's at 2 p.m. on Saturday, every Saturday, so if you're interested in that, then subscribe for that. Anyways, that's besides the point, but yeah, I don't really build that often. My friends built this entire thing for me, and um, I don't really build that much so I don't really use this plugin that on that much to be honest but I know a lot of people who do so I'm sure it's good and um, I actually know how to use it kind of like you can change as you can see like this is like the global local last access and then also you can change like all the properties of stuff right here too you have all these different tools and like hotkeys and stuff so I'm sure it's useful I just don't really use it but anyways it seems like a cool plugin get that one if you are a builder uh, yeah all right next one I use is custom NPC maker okay this one's pretty cool because you can actually animate stuff pretty easily and well I really use it for thumbnails and stuff like that but look I'll show you what I mean so I have player right here so I'll insert my name use code underscore tap by the way use code tap when buying robux okay um, Anyways, then I go ahead and go to uh, down here. Um, I'm pretty sure I just hit like the animation I want. And then there you go, R15. And there we go, my character's right there. So that's pretty easy. And my character looks a little weird right now, but <laughs> that's pretty easy. And then I can hit run. And it's actually not working. But I think if you hit like a certain like thing and you hit run, then it'll work. Um, but like, I don't really know how this one works that well, to be honest. But it does work for me sometimes. So that's why I use it. But let me see if I can figure this out. Um, pause, run. Come on, okay, wait. Let's see the walk one. You know, honestly, I have no clue, but either way, it helps you make little custom NPCs. You can put stuff on them and stuff like that. Pretty cool, but I don't I don't use it that much, I guess. I use it for thumbnails, stuff like that. So, yeah. 
Anyways, uh, let me get rid of that one. And why are they still here? I don't know. Okay. Um, next, these are two plugins by Roblox. I'm pretty sure this is just like a rig builder for like animation and stuff like that. Like you can hit block rig or whatever and spawn to your block rig. Um, I have like three different plugins do the same thing, honestly. Um, <laughs> but as you can see, you can you know spawn in whatever you want. Um, so yeah, that's pretty useful too. Uh, and then avatar importer. This is just an avatar too. Okay, animation editor. I'm pretty sure everyone already has this as like a default plugin by Roblox, but you know it's just how you make animation and stuff like that. I'm not gonna really go into that one because you know you gotta watch an animation video if you want to do that. So it's a lot of stuff there, but yeah, it's it's pretty easy actually. But yeah, and then this is a localization tools plugin. Everyone has this one as well. I'm pretty sure. So uh, if you want to watch my video on how to translate your game to other languages, then watch that. Um, that's that I made a video explaining this stuff like that. And then I have another plugin called Moon Animation Suite, which is also pretty cool. I like this plugin um, because like. Well, really, it, it does what other plugins do for me, but I can just enter people's names really easily. So, like, for example, if I want to get my friend in here, like, X Nerix or whatever, there he is, insert, and boom. There he is right there, right? Super easy, super quick. Um, and also, you can hit, like, you can insert dummies and stuff like that pretty easily, too. So, I like that. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, that's what that does. And then uh, they have like a little animator thing. This is really used for like animations, but I don't really animate that much. I just like using this little tool right here. That's why I have it, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, next plugin, okay, which is actually going to help my, one of my friend needs to help me with. That's why he's in this game right now, but Nerix. Um, the next plugin is the change hat plugin, okay? So go ahead and change your hat to show them what I mean by that. Um, if you guys don't know what I mean, it's like... You're basically able to have like a different hat instead of this little custom orb right here, or instead of that little like default orb, you can have a custom hat. So look, now he's, <laughs> now he looks like this. <laughs> so like whenever he walks around like here, move around like you're doing stuff. You see, like it, it's just like it's welded to his little orb. So it's actually kind of cool, and you can even see a shadow for it right there. It's kind of funny to be honest. But yeah, it's like you know, it's just like a custom hat, and it's pretty easy to use. Now, all you have to do is just um, insert like the accessory ID or whatever. And then you can insert it. Um, but l let me actually hit enabled. Okay, I'm a question mark right now, apparently. As you can see, my shadow right there. But, um, you know, you can just pretty much pick any hat off the catalog. or I think any item, to be honest. And then you can just paste it right there. And then you can be a different thing in Team Create. So it's kind of cool to mess with your friends with. I, I didn't even know about it until he showed me, to be honest. And now every time I look at him, he looks like this. It's uh, it's kind of kind of weird, to be honest. <laughs> okay, but wait. I actually want to test this out. Let me see. Accessory. Okay, I just put this weird hat on. All right. Anyways, that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's what that plugin does. And then you can able to disable it, visible local, yeah, stuff like that. All right. Anyways, next hat or next plugin. And let me actually disable that. Okay. Um, next plugin I use a lot is the Tool Grip Editor. This one is actually very cool. Uh, let me show you what I mean by this one. Let me insert a dummy. Actually, I don't even need a dummy. I just need a tool. Let me get like a sword out of the toolbox or something like that real quick. Um, but basically what happens is you can basically change where your tool is being grabbed from. Um, so if I have this tool right here, okay, uh, let me get out of that. And then I click on this tool and then I click on this plugin. Um, oh, I already have it selected. As you can see there, it shows my like my how it would look right now, right? If somebody were to equip the tool, it shows it how it, how it would look, right? So that's what it would look like. And then if I hit edit tool grip, I can actually um, move this, you see? And then it, that's how it would look if someone equipped it then. Now, obviously, it doesn't look good, but, you know, since this is already a default item, a lot of people already, you know, this is already perfected. But sometimes when you make, a, like, a new tool, your thing is, like, gripped wrong, so that it's, like, really confusing to figure it out, like, how to position it. So this tool is actually, or this is actually really useful because um, you can just edit it very, very easily. So, yeah. I like this plugin a lot, to be honest with you. I use it a lot, and um, I definitely recommend getting it if you don't already. Cause like sometimes I'll make a I'll make a sword and it looks like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, pretty cool plugin though. Definitely use it if you haven't already. All right, next plugin, Easy Weld. Um, this is just it. It just welds. That's really all it does. Um, I I don't know why I have it to be honest. I don't really use it that often, but um, basically I have two parts right here. Select them both, and then I hit Easy Weld, and now they're welded as you can see there. So what you know, if you don't know what welding does? Basically, like they're like kind of like stuck together, really. So, like if if I like okay, like watch, I'm I'm gonna put these parts in the air, and then they're gonna fall down together. All right, watch, they're gonna like they're like attached, kind of. That's like that's how best I can explain it. Um, but they're not like anchored. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and hit run and show you what I mean by that. Uh, run. 
and you'll see. I, I mean, most of you probably know how welds work, to be honest with you, but just for people who don't know, this is how they work. So, yeah. Oh, did it not run? Oh, there we go. Okay. And then let it load. And then, as you can see here. Oh, well, they're not, definitely not welding. That did not work. I don't know how welds work then. Never mind, guys. <laughs> I think I did something wrong, to be honest with you. I don't know. But, anyways, that's what that is. Um, kind of useless. Okay, data store editor. This one is good. I love this plugin, actually. All right, so basically, what data store editor is, is. Um, let me show you what I mean by this. Um, okay, I actually, I don't have any data stores in this game, so it's really not going to work that well. But if what you do is you click on it, right? And then you insert your place ID, okay? So, um, for example, let's say it's this game right here. This is the place ID. And then you insert the name of your data store. So whenever you make data stores, if you don't know what they are, they're just like ways to save your data, right? Um, it's like just a way to store your data. So whenever you make a data store, right? You Let me insert a new script real quick. You have to do, um, you know, local data store, data store service, right? And then you do, um, wait, game, get service, data store service. And then you do data store service or local data store is equal to data store service get data store um, and then you just insert whatever you put in here so if you just called it like data store one or something like that you just put that in the same thing inside of the uh, inside of this right here so yeah and then basically what happens is you'll insert that I don't know if this is the same place ID or that it should be but in case it is and you hit connect and then basically you insert a key all right so if you know how data stores work you know you have to save with a key and then the value which could be a table or whatever you want it to be but then you insert the key right here so for example let's say our key is just a player's username right or really you wouldn't do that actually because they can change usernames but let's say the key is a player's player id you insert their player id and then you can see all the data that's saved you know it's like it's like it's all visualized right it's very very cool you can change it right there too you can even edit the data you can delete the data it's very very cool i actually love this plugin it's like it's like a good way to visualize how data stores work right it's very very cool so you just insert the key that you saved it into and then it'll pop up uh, with all the data right here so yeah, I can't show you guys right now because I don't really have any data saved in this game, but if I did, I would show you. So yeah, I'm sorry. Anyways, that's what that does. And then 3D text, I already showed you guys that one. That was the first one I showed you. Part to the rain, this was pretty cool too. Um, it, what happens is you insert a part right here, okay? And then you um, go to plugins, and then you hit part to the rain. And then I'm sure you can assume what it does, but it just converts a part to the rain. <laughs> there you go. It's useful like whenever you want to have like an ocean or something like that. Because it's kind of difficult to like place an entire ocean with just the terrain editor, or I mean probably not, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so you just scale it out however you want it. You can hit overwrite terrain, overwrite to water, and then you can hit keep, keep converted part if you want to. But I want it to delete instead. I'll change this to water, convert, and there we go. Now I have a little lake type thing. Yeah, very cool. So yeah, I like this plugin a lot. It's very very cool. Um, I use it a lot. Uh, this one is actually a new plugin I saw on Twitter, okay? Um, basically what this one does is it, it, it's, okay, the only problem with this plugin is it's really laggy, so it might crash right now, I'm not sure to be honest with you, but basically what happens is if I hit, exp if I hit collapse, what's gonna happen is it's gonna close everything, it's gonna close like the workspace. It's gonna do this for me, right? Or like if this was open and this was open and this was open and everything was open, you know what I'm saying? Like all this crap and I hit collapse or okay, I have to click on that and then hit collapse. It closes the whole thing. It's actually very useful, guys. I'm telling you, because like when it, like whenever you just want to scroll like out of something and you have like a folder on folder on folder, it gets annoying. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, I like that plugin a lot. It, it's really cool. You can also expand it too. So all uh, the way around, very very cool. I like that plugin. Um, definitely check it out if you are interested in that, because I like it. Anyways, yeah, in my opinion, guys, that is the best plugins in Roblox Studio. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like always, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Roblox development videos. I upload every other day, so if you want that, subscribe for that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.